Welcome to Connor's Cuts. Connor is not here. We're actually at Bob's house, my boyfriend's house, and we're making Pop Pop's spaghetti sauce. We're gonna make a whole pot of it with three kinds of meats, and we're gonna freeze some of it for the next couple weeks or months. So there's Bob doing all the hard work. Hi, everybody. And I'm just here to supervise. Here's the sausage and meatballs. And all the ingredients. Let's look closely at those ingredients. <laughs> What's the first thing you're doing for the sauce? Okay, so the first thing we have to do is um, we have to brown our meat. We're gonna brown our meatballs here. We got regular uh, Italian style meatballs, got the good ones. And we're just gonna brown them real good. Or we could have made them ourselves, but this looks pretty good. We're getting them because they look nice and easy today. Yeah. So we're just browning them, brown the meatballs. Brown the sausage. Enough. And then you're brown gonna brown this sausage. pork chop? Yep, we'll do that after we do the meatballs. That way we have like a good uh, fatty base to cook it in. Yep. And it'll cook real nice. Because my dad says you have to have the three meats. Yep. Or it doesn't have turn these out. Three or it won't be. Or it won't be any good. It won't be right. Okay. Now we took out our Italian sausage, and we're going to use the same pan with the oil left over from the sausage to cook our boneless pork chops. Good idea. We're going to put them in, and we're going to let them brown in the pan. I have never made the sauce with the pork chop. We got one round of the meatballs done. This is the second round of them. Okay. They're almost ready. There's the pork chop. Now we're chopping the onion. Bob doesn't even cry. I'm really good at that, and I am not. Any advice on chopping an onion? Yeah, keep your fingers pulled back when you're using your knife. Okay. Good advice and have your knife really sharp, right? I just crushed the garlic with this Pampered Chef garlic crusher. We have five cloves because our cloves were small. You can really do as much garlic as you like or as little. Okay, now we're gonna start with putting the uh, olive oil and vegetable oil in. It's a quarter cup of each. So there's half a cup. I'm gonna put that in. Okay, we're gonna let that, uh, we were already preheating the pan, so it's already kind of warm. So once the oil's in there and hot, we're gonna add the fresh garlic. Yep. Okay. And we're gonna add half of a uh, chopped onion. Yep. And, and it says to do this until it's translucent, translucent, which means what? It means you could see through it. Okay. We're gonna add some Red pepper flakes. That is more than five shakes. No, it's five <laughs> shakes. Uh, I don't know. A video of what it looks like. I feel like that's more than, and if you put more than five shakes because you like it spicy, that's what'll happen. So if you like it spicy, shake away. We're gonna cook this until they're soft, translucent. Okay. And we're on like a, a medium low heat right now. Okay, I might um, open up the tomato paste now. Because okay. it's in now a can. we're opening okay. up our tomato paste cans. We probably should have opened all our cans ahead of time, but it's okay. Ready. And we're going to add in a can and a half because the cans are 12 ounces and the recipe says 16. So we're going to kind of estimate. How's that look? Good. Looks good. Is that translucent? No. Okay. Not yet. That's the part I have a hard time with. <laughs> okay, now our onions and garlic are translucent. We don't want to go any further or it'll like burn, right? 
Yep. Okay, so we're gonna add our tomato paste. Okay. We're gonna add a can and a half of that. Some thick stuff. Is there any use for the other half a can that you can think of? Because I can't. Stirred so and it's gonna, gonna like not stir very easy because it's thick, right? Yep, so we're so gonna, then you want to start till it all gets kind of mixed. Yep, we want the oil and the onions to absorb into this. So once it starts to get warm, the tomato paste gets warm, it'll start to thin out a little bit and everything will get blended together. Yep, and it won't take long. This warm up a little bit. Okay, and then we have to add tomatoes and puree. Okay, we're gonna add the petite diced tomatoes next. And get regular diced. Oh, okay. Regular diced as well, but Bob likes petite. I'm gonna add three cans of tomato puree. it all up. Okay, looks good so far. We're going to add the salt, pepper, and sugar. Okay. We have pre-measured. So that's like... Shake that in. Teaspoon of salt and pepper and a tablespoon of sugar. Did we do a tablespoon of salt and pepper? Teaspoon. Okay. And then we did a tablespoon of sugar because that's what the recipe says. Yep. Mix that in. Okay. We're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Seven shakes. <laughs> According to my dad, he said a couple. There. I would go That's... heavier on the shakes. No. I like that. All so, right. There's a lot in there. So we're going to go. All righty. If you say so. We're going to go with that to start. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. We're going to dissolve two beef bouillon cubes in hot water. Just a little bit of hot water. Just enough to, to melt the cubes down. And then we'll mix that in with the mixture once they dissolve down a little bit. I think you have to help them out with a the spoon, right? Okay. They used to be a little easier. Did you get splattered? Yes. Ooh. It started boiling. Careful not to splatter it on yourself if you're making this. Yeah, keep stirring it. That water's not very hot. Just oh Bob's. my gosh. Wow. Oh no. We microwaved the water to get the bouillon cubes to dissolve a little more. My water was only warm. It wasn't hot enough. Bob's persistent. <laughs> well, some of it's still thick on the bottom. All right, we got it. I'm gonna add that. And we had a splash of sauce on the oven and stuff, so I turned off the camera to, um, so we could clean that up. And it's probably because our burner has to be the lowest low now that it's getting full. It has to be on really low because it will start to splatter. There's the bouillon cubes dissolved in water, mixing in. Okay, now we're adding basil, Italian seasoning, oregano, two tablespoons of garlic powder, 
and Parmesan cheese. So a lot of these say a fair amount, not too much. Um, I got a little bit of an idea on the recipe card. Uh, you'll see that I put some amounts on there because I didn't like the way my dad wrote the recipe because I didn't understand how much I should use. So when you're making this, it says there it's about a tablespoon of most of them. Okay, and now we're gonna add the Parmesan. You added the Parmesan added cheese. It. And now we're ready to add the meat. Oh, and the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna add those now? Cause I didn't put when yeah. we add those. Well, we can do it now. So we drained the mushrooms earlier. We're gonna add them in. I think fresh ones would be really good. Um, you would just wanna clean them and slice them and add them in. Um, if you have kids that would be grossed out by that, just don't add them. When I was a kid, if I saw a chunk in my sauce, I didn't like to try to figure out what it was. I just put it to the side and ate the rest. So we're gonna add the meat. Uh, we got the meatballs, Italian sausage, and the pork chops, and all this stuff that we browned. Yep. Go ahead and add them in here. And you can do spicy Italian sausage, but I don't like spicy Italian sausage, so we got mild Italian sausage. And I might have mentioned this earlier, but um, usually my parents would make the meatballs, but we bought them. Bought the fancy ones. We bought the meat already rolled up to mm -hmm. save some time. So... Right now it doesn't look as delicious as it's gonna look in a few hours. We're gonna let this simmer for like three hours, mm -hmm. probably till six o'clock till we're ready to eat. So you could also put this in a crock pot at this point and just simmer it, like keep it on low. Um, if you didn't wanna have to worry about your oven being touched by a kid or something, that's what I've done. There we go. That's good. Go ahead. Okay, so we let this cook all day. Um, time is it? 7, 13, so what we get about two o'clock. So it's been so in there five for five hours. Five hours. Yeah. And uh, it looks pretty good. It all cooked down real nice. Um, all the flavors from the meat are now inside the sauce. So that's about what it should be right there. Consistency looks good. Yeah. So, yep. I think it's ready to go. Okay. So. Enjoy your sauce. Okay, take a bite. No. <laughs> don't get, don't video me eating. <laughs>